Good morning. I'm Pastor Larry Kirkpatrick. I serve the Muskegon, Michigan and the Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches over here in Michigan. I'd like to look at Psalm 127 with you today. Uh, you can read along if you'd like. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward, like arrows in the hand of a warrior. So are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. So altogether we have these five verses, and they might look at first like they, they don't really go together. It's like kind of a strange uh, constellation of thoughts, but not so. It goes together very well. You see, what we're finding out here is if God is in it, it'll all work out. We can trust in Him, and we, we don't need to stay up late at night worrying and thinking and thinking things through in some crazy way. Uh, we don't need to just be so wrought on, on working something out. If we trust in the Lord, and that's what we have here, unless the Lord builds the house, it's going to come up to nothing. Unless the watchman, unless God is taking care of things, the watchman is, is watching in vain. So then it says, uh, to, it's in vain, verse 2, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. He gives his beloved sleep. And then we have the children. And that's really what connects this piece is that if God is in it, if we allow God to be in it, if we allow God to permeate our family, our children will prosper. We can be there for them at different times as they find their way because sometimes they lose their, they lose their pathway. You might know something about that. Um, when we were younger, sometimes we lost our way. But if God is in it, it'll prevail, and we don't need to be full of nervousness. And so the, the, the children will prevail too. But it kind of comes down to where's mom and dad? Where are the, the people that are, in, that, are, that are helping the family be all that it can be. Are we trusting in God? Are we really in his hands, in his keeping? Or do we take ourselves out of his hands uh, so frequently that, uh, that children can't tell that we're trusting in the Lord? There you have a problem. Well, a little bit of thoughts about Psalm 127 today. Let's, let's uh, pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, we're glad that you're watching over. You're watching over your city. You're watching over your families. And we want you to watch over our families. I'd like you to watch over mine and uh, the people that are listening to this meditation. I pray, Lord, that you'll watch over their families. A lot of us, a lot of people have a lot of family members that are you know, just a, a, a very crazy place. So, Lord, would you, would you please intervene in their lives, bless children and other friends of ours, other family members that need your intervention, just intervene in the right way so that you can lead them on, on the right path to come towards you and to find it, to taste and see that you are good. Help us tonight, Lord, when we, when we go to, to rest at the end of this day, help us to do it with a peace, a recognition that you're in control and we don't have to stay up late at night worrying about it. It's not going to solve anything, but Lord, we can trust you. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. God be with you and have a wonderful day. Now we're ready to get started.